Let me tell you this. We are living in the world that is not perfect. For you to get mistakes, it does not need you to travel long. Even here, if you, if you need to see a mistake, you will find one. Or the things that you don't want or like, they are here. Even where you stay, some of the things you just got used to, there are things that are not right. Everyone Magale, ndiingo wakwam, muno a slangana na leshi, shwiler saka, vuta fika amakum loko, osi fika ibu. The temptation of you receiving things that can cause you worry will end when the Lord comes again. Kumbe loko inga sibu ya osi. And if it's not yet back, when the days of living here on earth come to an end, what is real? and still holding on, and conquering, conquering, when the day comes with its own, and you conquer it and you go forward, Wherever you'll be, it might be at the hospital, it might be wherever. Check her out. When you check out, out of that body, you are a lodger in that body. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Truly, yes. You won't stay forever. You have been given said, stay here for a while. One day we are going to come and take you. When you check out, Hallelujah. Amen. And you enter into a graduation. They say, you have conquered. He has conquered. And they clap your hands and ululate. And they say, you are welcome in the land of peace. No more crying. No more worrying. No thirst. No hunger. No strikes. That's that. Power inflation. There's no inflation. The price are the going. The price is never As you going do receive up. Seal. Nothing is being limited. No sweating. No toiling. No waking. Always lifting hands. And say, you are holy. You are holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until that time, until that time, there will be an opportunity 
for you to be tempted to worry. Wa gore na muta Dr. Mbiza ani bulanga na wona anta vutsa xivutiso xana loko munhu a vivilela miri wona. Inchini wushi sikretaka wushu humesaka. Uh, it's just that I didn't talk to Dr. Mbiza. <coughs> if I had, I'll be asking him that when one worries, what is it that the body is sec secreting? Uh, I don't know it much, but I know that your body secretes something. When those things are secreted because of worry, it destroys something in one's body. But I have jealousy for one. He will tell us <laughs> one day. Yeah, I like what Joma. We don't want to take him by surprise. We don't want to take him by surprise. Come last time, but I'm sorry. But let's still. So we are going to move on. He knows it, but we don't want to. When you worry, this thing is secreted and it reaches your, your body system in, a, in excess and it destroys something. So, what needs to be done is when situation that may prompt you to worry comes, you need to be your own referee. You blow the whistle. Don't worry too much because things may go wrong. Clap those hands too much. You had it well. You need to stay with your whistle on. By the way, worrying, you don't go searching it and say, who ah, can give me one? No. You don't go searching hey, for it. It's long that I've never worried. Can you oh, make me worry? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah if we're hearing it. I said we are living in the world that is not perfect. There are many things that go and wrong. And they don't ask permission from you to go wrong. To the extent that they need to go wrong. They just got Wrong. And you need to play a role of managing when these things one go wrong. One Each and every individual has a responsibility to manage. Don't shift the responsibility to some and say they should manage. Each and every person has a responsibility of controlling over there, there's a place they call it fire station. Over there. Those people's job is to quench the fires that are burning in unwanted places. I'm not sure if you are getting this. Fire is good. But if it burns in an unwanted place, you need to quench it quickly. Quench the fire. Quench the fire. Stop the Say, fire. Fire, in, fire engine. Fire station. Fire Fire station. Fire station, you know, when I find a service, you will be more by a corner, a car, my tile, my car, not the chemicals, the fire, 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 the fire
She ready. Your fire station needs to be in order and ready always. The cars, the tires, the chemicals, everything. <laughs> So that whenever Bishop fire Bishop erupts, quick, quick, an alarm is set on fire, so fire, 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 and you quench it quickly, you stop it quickly. There is fire that is burning inside your body, in your mind, when you worry. Do not, don't worry. Don't worry. But tell them, Mingabileli. Uh, don't worry. Mingabileli. Somebody is looking in at me and saying, This man, does he think he does not manage. The thing is you need to manage it. So then, Bona, look here. Each and every person has his or her space of worrying. Myself, I have you here. Every one of you, even those who didn't come, if I hear that some, somebody things are not going well. Because I want things to go well with you. Do you believe that? By the all of you, I need and desire that all of you things may go right. You pass, you succeed, you do this, you do that, you live well. It is my responsibility. But if I hear that somebody, something didn't go right, it tries to ring a bell because I need to do something. Maybe it's Hands. Maybe we need to lay hands and say the name of And we listen to the way. And we say, it's done. Then we raise hands, we become happy. The most important thing is to be able to manage. All right. Minge, Rizamashwe. Let us continue. Shana, what do we mean by worry? Worry is a series of thoughts and images that are full of negative emotions. It's real last time. Worry can start being a concern. It's something that has happened and it hurts you. But worry takes a concern and makes it toxic. Worry is a disease of imagination that slowly overtakes and dominates your life. Worry is a disease of imagination which slowly overtakes and dominates your life. It is like that. Somebody say, hey. Hey. It is that way. I long the reason. Reasons why we should not worry. Reasons why we should not worry. I long the shwangelesh enla kuku inga inga bileli fanele inga bileli. Oh, are you ready for this now? Are you ready? Mingo ina tamitwa. Mingo ina. Mingo ina. Kusuke la katsa la lere ngalsaya. From the scripture that we have read. Yes, Uri. Jesus is saying, do not worry about your life. Look here. 
There's no one who doesn't like his life. Every person likes his life. Everyone needs his thing to go right. If you are a parent, your children, your husband, your wife, your grandchildren, your grandchildren, whatever, in that way. But the most important thing that worries people is the things that touches them personally. Ah. Let me tell you the truth. Even if you like other people, you care about them. But the first one, one is yourself. It's like some are doubting. Eh? Eh, Let's continue. When Jesus explains worry, he says people worry about what to eat. The first need of a human being is the belly. Number one. The first need the infant, as soon as he or she is born, what she needs is food. Need number one. The first need. Good. To Thank eat. Good. 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 People worry. Shana, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm haven't you asked this question one day? What do I eat then? If you are such a person, what will I eat? Is that person who has never asked that question? This tells you, Eating is the first need. By the way, if you have noticed, I don't have a beautiful shirt, I don't have a good dress, I don't have a good trousers. You eat first. And when you eat, you know, the clothes that I have are not good. If you have a good Am I talking just uh, stories? Things get sorted out in the time. Then you say, I love this hairstyle, I don't want it. But the first thing is eating. Mm. <laughs> The second thing, Jesus continues saying, do not worry about what to wear. Do not worry. Uh -huh. May I ask you a question? What will I wear? And some open a wardrobe. Open a wardrobe. He said, what will I wear? You think a person can ask a question if the wardrobe is full of paper? Open the wardrobe. What will I wear? These things are not worth wearing them anymore. Learning another problem. And I what is not going to ring. Which gender? I'm not going in that direction. I'm not going in that direction. I'm not going in I may offend people. You won't tell them you won't be offended today. You won't tell them you won't be offended today. You won't tell them you will not be offended today. You will not uh, when you live there, so, then you think of others. And people start worrying. 
Reason number one why we should not worry. <laughs> is that life is more than food and material possessions. Life is more than food and material possessions. Jesus said so. He said, isn't life more important than food? Huh? Mm. Look here. The one who has poured life inside you. The one who has given you the breath of life. Life that is so precious. Life that you cannot get on your own. You are given life. Life cannot be bought. Life is priceless. But God in heaven, he gave you life. He allowed you to live your heart has never seen since then you are still here you have been given life don't you thank God about that and say even though I don't have this bed but I thank God for life I thank God for life somebody lift up your hands and say Lord I thank you for the breath of life upon my body. I thank you, Lord. Look here. Life is more valuable than food. The food that can cost us to want. Life is more valuable than clothes that makes us to worry. Life is more valuable than money than anything that causes us to worry. Look here. The one who gives life can he fail to keep it? Ha, 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 ha. Are you hearing this? The one who has given you a gift of life can he fail to give you a gift of supporting this life? Hey, vaka Toyota. The Toyota company. Toyota. Those who made the vaka Toyota cars. Can na. they fail to service ha, it? Ko, no way. I mean, you don't hear me well. I mean, you, don't me well. I mean, you don't hear me well. Vaka, Those who made a car. Ko, they know how to service it. God, who gave you life, is able to service you. You are you service. Tell the person, God saves you. Breathing. Are you breathing out of your own accord? Even when you are asleep. You breathe. And you end it by snoring. <laughs> and I see that people Paso, can snore. Even if he sleep next door. The different music I wish people could record that. <laughs> snoring that way. <laughs> Somebody from the Kosa place in Danzani or way somewhere. Way back in the 80s, here in conference, I had office. In man, 1980. They put us in one space. We were congested. <sighs> At first, we loved. <laughs> we realized it's not helping us because we could not even sleep. I am, I'm not exaggerating. Just like that. And that is. <laughs> 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 
Oh, Jesus. The giver of life. He has the ability to sustain it. He makes me to lie down in Pahasha's green. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not because he ma makes me to lie I may not know when it's going to come. I may not know when God is going to use it. But what I know is one day things are going to be ushered. I will be ushered to the greener pasture. He may Makes you to love in He makes you to love. Oh. The Lord. The Lord he is your shepherd. Hallelujah. I shall. Because he ma makes me to love. He leadeth me. 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 Oh, the day. Oh, of my love. Oh, I shall. I shall. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. Oh, all the days oh, of my life. Oh, The one who has put the breath of life inside you doesn't fail to water it. He doesn't fail not even a single day. He has all power of sustaining you. The psalmist says, he revives my soul. He saves my soul. He saves my soul. He saves my He saves my He one soul will never be given rest by anything from this one soul. Even if you have a lot of money, you can get rest. There's a lot of goods you can rest. Even if there are many things, but you rest in the pastures. The greener pastures. You rest in Jesus. 
Blessing. Are the people that in time of Jesus to believe in Jesus, Jesus and say, Jesus, I come to you. Jesus, I hide in you. Give me rest. I release the anointing. I release the anointing. I release the anointing. The anointing for rest. The anointing for refreshment. May He refresh your soul. May He refresh your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. May your soul be refreshed. May you rest in His arms. Wisa. Marisi Murungwana. This is a song. A song, Pastor Mabasa. When my soul is overwhelmed. When my soul is overwhelmed. Oh. When my soul is over, oh, leave me there. My way Your soul. I will love you so much. Does not need anything. I will love you entertainment. It does not need entertainment. Your soul. We think of Jesus. It needs Jesus. We find a similar. Like a plant. A plant, the plants that you see here, they can't survive anywhere else. They need a soil. When they have the root inside the soil and they are watered, they become water. Your soul needs soil. The soil of the word of God. Your soul needs the water of the Holy Spirit. We need to get Take me to Jesus. I will be satisfied. Your soul needs Jesus. Life is more than food. Seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's where Jesus said, All these other things shall be added unto you. These other things. These other things that we are crying for. And sometimes. We put ourselves in big trouble because of forcing answers before they arrive. Wait for God. Wait for God. Life is more than food and other material things. The giver of life it's not failing to sustain it. It's not failing to make it hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah. Number two. Reason number two. The second Why we should not worry. Worry cannot change or improve anything. Worry cannot change or improve anything. Even Yeshua, Jesus said, Who of you among you, by worrying, that can increase the length of your arm? If we are, oh, I've, by worrying, who is it that can increase the stature of her body to an arm's length? Who can do that? Worry 
does not change anything. Tell your neighbor. Hey. There are some people who can worry a lot. And they also want people who will encourage to worry. And when you tell them your problem, they say, yeah, shame. Yeah. And you, 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 you continue yeah. to worry. Yeah. Fuka. Since we started worrying, there's nothing that we manage to do. Worry, do nothing, does not bear anything, does not work anything, it destroys. There's no one who can show us a trophy that he has won by worrying. No one. Amen. Let's say amen if you are amen. Let's say amen. Tell them worrying does not change anything. Number three. Thirdly, worry is a disease that causes other ills. Even f and fear as well. When you worry, you worry, and worry, the next thing is to be afraid. And other illnesses come. Ask them, did you hear that? Did you hear that one? Number four. Fourthly, Worry, worry is a burden that is borrowed from tomorrow and others who should carry it. Hey. It's a burden we borrow from tomorrow or from the future or from other people who should bear it, who should carry it. We have carried things that we were not supposed to be carrying. It's other people's burdens. Tell your neighbor, put it down. I rule in, I rule in. Put it down. Jesus says, Tomorrow we will worry about it all. Because each day has its own matter. Has its own concerns. So if you take future concerns, you add it to today's concerns. You make things heavier for you. Tell your neighbor, stop worrying. Quit worrying. Number, number five. Shabuntanu. It is the weight that kills instantly. Worry kills. When you have worried enough, you die. Before time, when you appear before God, God say, what happened? Say, I have overworked myself worrying. Tell your neighbor, don't worry too much. You may go very quickly. Worry is a grave digger that has no sympathy for anyone. It means whenever you are worrying, you are digging a grave. It's better that you don't dig shift. Stop quickly, stop digging the grave. Babjelen will stop digging the grave. What's Babjelen going to Babzelen, ye man kuchela sira. 
What is the robber of faith, peace, and trust in the never failing Heavenly Father? <laughs> God never fails. I stand there. God never fails. I stand there. He never fails. I should stand there. He never fails. He never fails. Our lives need to be lives of trusting God. You are faithful, O oh God. We like we are faithful, O oh God. We sing that song. You are faithful, O oh God. Now, how do we overcome this spirit? How do we overcome it? Number one. Learn to accept the situations that cannot be altered at that moment. There are situations that even when you can punish yourself, they cannot change there and there. They need time. See, bangwa ba fanya saku kubilela kufana namja ana lei yikuta karambo. Some likens worry like a dog that is sucking a bone. Hambi loko nyama ye erili sare basili isama ya kuta kuta. Even when all meat is gone from the bone, the dog continues to I'm suck the bone. In the dog's mind, wants meat from the bone that is white. But because they still a smell, the dog thinks when I chew this bone, meat it's like that no, no, with worry. You suck the bone that is Dry, not having meat. A certain dog, when he's tired of it, takes the bone. It opens up on the soil and buries the bone and go away. And when it's hungry, it remembers the bone. It dug the bone and starts again where it stops. Looking for meat from that bone. That is what we do when we want it. We want answers where an answer is not. Tell your neighbor, throw away the bone. Throw away the bone. Tell them. Hallelujah. Amen. Reason number two. Shabumbiri. Okay, not reason number two. Okay. How to overcome the spirit of worry? You need to cast all your worry upon God through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Oh, cast all your worry upon God through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Because worry will come. When worry comes, you should take it. You use prayer. You use intercession and thanksgiving. You throw it to God. Say, Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. Take it, Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. But Philippians 4, 6 and 7. The Bible says, when we have cast them to Jesus, the peace that surpasseth all understanding will protect our minds. We will be close to the head that protects us. When the devil goes to us, those stones will hit the head and our minds will be covered. Our minds will be covered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 37. 
Verse 25. Verse 25. Hallelujah. Amen. David Uri. David says, I was young. And now I'm old. I have never, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, no, his children, no, no, his children begging bread. Let me tell you. God keeps. He will never forsake you. He will never forsake you. He will never forsake you. He will keep you. Tell them, person, he keeps. He keeps. He keeps. He keeps. He keeps. He keeps. All right. Number three. Focus on the solution. And not on the problem. Problem is that. The problem will come. Things that can cause worry will come. You shift your focus. You shift your focus from the problem. The thing that causes worry. You focus on the risk. What can I do? With this issue, with this problem, what can I do? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are looking for the solution, your mind comes to a cul de sac. There's an answer when the earthly ones. Have you lift your eyes like the psalmist. I will lift up my eyes upon the hills from where my help comes. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. If you don't get any help from your friends, if you don't get any help elsewhere, I can guarantee you, your help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. Who made the heavens and earth. He hasn't failed. He hasn't failed. Your help comes from above. Take off your eyes from the earth and beat. Lift your eyes. Lift your eyes. Take them from the promises of this Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes, Philadelphia. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes upon the hills. Because your help come from the Lord. Your help should come from the Lord. Who made the heavens and earth. The psalmist says, He will never allow your foot to be moved. He won't allow. He will never allow. He will never allow it. That your foot. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 14, verses 23, 22 to 23. Matthew 14, 22 to 23. Matthew 14, 22 to 33. We see Jesus He was walking on water. And when they saw him, they said, it's a ghost. And he said, no, no, it's me. Don't be afraid. And Peter and said, if my Lord walks on water, if it's him walking on water, if you can give me permission, Hey, 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 hey. I Let's stand on our feet. I hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on Let's stand on our Let's stand on 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 Let's there's some way you won't enter if you don't have a permission. Have you ever been in that place? 
It needs a permission. They give you a permission. If there are people who have been in those places, can I say that? Places, when you have to go there, you need to get permission. Lift your hand. Let me see you. Let me see your hand. Without a permission, you don't enter. In some government offices, you write even your details. And they give you a card. Let me tell you. Some of you, you get a permit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get a permit. Shout yes. Shout yes. You are getting a permit today. You have been forbidden for a long time. Receive your permit. In the name of Jesus. Shout permit. 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 Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. You have been permitted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are right in your permit today. As you enter where you have been forbidden. We are writing a permission. You are receiving a permit. In the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive. Hey, one and one. Look here. Lie, you make a call to America. When we have been in America, look, we must have my visa. When one gets a visa, to America, an American visa, it slap his hands and dead. He was at the Kenyan of my visa because it's so difficult to get visa. Maybe we have to America to get to America where they do everything in a big way. Lava and actually, we must be like Uku. Shumu one and one we end the world. Everything are done in a bigger way. You need to have a visa. Let me tell you. Under this anointing that you have, you're getting your visa. You're getting permission. In the name of Jesus, you're getting permission. Hallelujah! I'm going to hold you. Let me go for the rock on. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One. Peter. Peter. Agur. He said. If it's you, Lord. One of it done. Just call me. One of it done. Call me. Look, Arwen. If it's you. What done? Just say, come. Ha ha. I need me na kashimwa na na. I'm not waiting for you. Need me na kutwari tura we. I'm just waiting to hear you when you say, come. Ho siri done. The Lord says, come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ho siri done. The Lord says, come. Ungena enta kwe. Come into the heavens. The Lord says, come. Ungena ebu tongwe. Hosiritana, unkena batimbeni. Hosiritana, tana, tana. Halabaya shakala baya talala bara. Somebody, give him a hand of praise and say, "I'm coming." Say, "I'm coming, Lord." Say, "I'm coming, Lord." Shout it. Shout, "I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming." Come on, shout it and say, I'm coming, I'm coming. Pedro. Peter. He didn't want to say goodbye to God. He jumped. He said, since the Lord said, come. I'm going there. Even if it's on I'm going there. Even if it's air, you're going. I'm going. I'm going there. Alashaka para, alashatala, logo hosi kutana, yana, hallelujah, logo hosi kukongela, kongela, hallelujah. 
Somebody, somebody, give him a hand of praise and say, I'm coming. Shout, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm not my fellow. Man, nigga, nigga, out chaba. Let go, horsey, curry. And oh, take a magosa. Yana. If in your conscious, when you are afraid, when the Lord says, "Come, go there." Rito. The word. Very horsey. Yiru bulak. That the Lord says. Is the one that is going to carry you. Rito. The way. Rito. The way. Oh my God. Rito. The way. Rito. The way. Rito. Ratakula. It carries. Rito. The way. Ratakusa. The way. Rito. Elevate. Ratakusa. The way. Rito. Will promote. The promoter. Ibi. And then you walk upon the word, the, the word. Dana. It's walking upon come. Dana. Come. Dana. Come. Say, you have a problem. And there came a problem. Between the boat and when Jesus was. Yeso. I shift the focus. And then Peter. Shifted his Ibi, focus. And then he saw the waves. They were raging. The waves. Na moyo. And the storm. Ya, and he said, I made a mistake. Kuba, anga For him not having Ibi, focus mankanda. on his Lord, si but mele. on the waves, he drowned. We see when we look to things that are causing us to worry, things that are causing us to worry, worry issues. Issues. when we look at them, Lord, we think. Full of hell, my baby, I'm below. Look at me, so I'm going to be in the shower. I'm going to be in the shower. I'm going to be in the shower. I'm Lord, carry me. Lord, sustain me. Lord, carry me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Lord, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hallelujah. If you come out, my dear, we have come to the end. You might be here. You are heavy laden. You are heavy laden. You are amidst them. I mean temptations. Your mind goes that way and that way. You worry. You need him. You need him. Come to the fore. May the Lord bless us.